For 14 years, 42-year-old computer programmer Tony Whitaker has been living with glaucoma. Before I was diagnosed, it's just like, you don't even think about the potential of, of not having any vision. Now that it's taken away some of her peripheral vision, she sees things a lot differently. You know, I'm a programmer, I'm a geek at heart. It's like, I don't know what I would do if I was not able to, you know, write code or sit in front of, sit in front of a computer. Three times a year, it's the same drill. Anesthetic eye drops, then a two-second test to see if her eye pressure is changing, which could be a sign her glaucoma is progressing. Six seconds worth of data is highly inadequate for managing a chronic disease that's round the clock. This test, in trials at Duke University, allows patients like Tony to check their intraocular pressure at home several times a day, the same way diabetics check their blood sugar. The goal is the same, better management of the disease. If we can control the fluctuations and the pressure is stable, I have found in my experience that the patients do not progress. If Tony's glaucoma doesn't get worse, neither will her vision. Eyesight is an important part of that, of what I do every day. That say, I, I can't even imagine my life without being able to see. With help from new technology, she hopes she'll never have to. Taking action for your health, I'm Linda Otato, ABC Action News.